You grab your USB stick, yank it out of your computer, and toss it in your bag. Easy, right? But then your friend gasps and says you should have clicked that little safely remove button first. You roll your eyes. It's just a tiny stick. What could possibly go wrong? Today, I'll explain why that little button actually matters to you like you're five years old. And by the end, you'll understand why your computer gets cranky when you don't say goodbye properly to your USB stick. Here's what you need to know. Your computer might still be writing files to your USB stick even when you think it's done, and yanking it out can corrupt those files or lose your data completely. The computer also uses something called caching, where it saves changes to its own memory first before copying them to the USB stick later. If you pull the stick out before that transfer happens, you lose your work. The safely remove button tells your computer, I'm about to take this out, so it finishes any pending writes, clears its cache, and makes sure that everything is safely stored. Skipping this step is like snatching a book away from someone while they're still writing in it. You might ruin what they were working on, but let me show you exactly how this works. Think of your USB stick like a very polite house guest. When someone visits your house, they don't just show up, grab some snacks, and disappear without saying hello or goodbye, right? I mean, that would be rude. Your USB stick is the same way. It likes to be introduced properly when it arrives, and it really wants to say goodbye before it leaves. When you plug your USB stick into your computer, something pretty amazing happens. Your computer doesn't just notice the stick and ignore it. Instead, your computer gets excited and says, Oh, hello there, new friend. Welcome. Let me show you around and make you comfortable. The computer looks at what's on the USB stick, figures out how to talk to it, and gets everything ready so you can use the files on it. But here's the thing. Your computer is also kind of like a very busy librarian. When you want to read a book at the library, the librarian doesn't just hand you the book and forget about it. They keep track of who has that book, when it was taken out, and when it needs to come back. Your computer does the same thing with your USB stick. It keeps a list of what files you're looking at, what you might be charging, and what needs to be organized. Now, imagine you're working on a really important drawing. You're using crayons, and you have paper spread out everywhere. You're not done yet, but you're taking a little break. But suddenly, someone comes along and snatches away all your crayons and paper while you're still working. You'd be pretty upset, wouldn't you? I mean, you might lose your drawing, or it might get all messed up. That's exactly how your computer feels when you yank out the USB stick without any warning. Your computer might still be working with files on your USB stick, even when you think it's done. Maybe you saved a document five minutes ago, but your computer is still organizing it, making sure it's stored properly or cleaning up some temporary files that it created. Your computer likes to be very careful and double check everything. It's like a perfectionist who wants to make sure that everything is neat and tidy before finishing a project. When you suddenly remove the USB stick, it's like interrupting your computer in the middle of a very important task. Imagine you're carefully building a tower out of blocks, and right when you're placing the very last block on top, someone bumps into you. Your tower might fall down, right? Well, that same thing can happen to your files. If your computer is in the middle of saving or organizing something on your USB stick and you pull it out, that file might get broken or lost forever. But there's more. Your computer also keeps a special memory of what's happening with your USB stick. Think of it like your computer's brain keeping notes about your USB stick in a notebook. These notes say things like, this file is being used right now, or I need to remember to clean up this temporary file later. When you suddenly yank out the USB stick, your computer still has all these notes, but the USB stick is gone. It's like having a notebook full of reminders about someone who just disappeared. Your computer gets confused and might even have problems because of that confusion. Sometimes, your computer is also doing something called caching. This is like when you're doing your homework and you write rough notes on a piece of scratch paper before copying them neatly into your final homework book. Your computer does the same thing. It might write some changes to your USB stick files on its own scratch paper first, planning to copy them to the USB stick later. This is actually faster and more efficient for the computer. If you remove the USB stick before your computer has a chance to copy those changes over, you'll lose whatever work you just did. It's like throwing away your homework right before you were going to copy it into your good notebook. But why does your computer do this caching thing? Well, writing to a USB stick is actually kind of slow compared to how fast your computer's brain works. So, instead of waiting around every single time, the computer says, I'll just write this down in my fast memory for now, and I'll transfer it to the slow USB stick when I have a good moment. This makes everything work faster for you, but it also means there's often a delay between when you think something is saved and when it's actually written to the USB stick. The safety remove button is like teaching your computer good manners. When you click it, you're basically saying, Hey computer, I'm getting ready to take my USB stick home now. Can you please finish whatever you're doing with it and get ready to leave? Your computer then says, Oh, of course. Let me finish organizing these files, clean up my notes, and make sure everything is safely stored on your USB stick. Give me just a moment. Your computer then does a bunch of important things very quickly. 
First, it finishes writing any files that were still being saved. It's like making sure all of your toys are properly put away in their tiny box before you close the lid. Then, it empties its cache, copying any remaining changes from its scratch paper to the actual USB stick. Next, it cleans up any temporary files or notes it was keeping about your USB stick. And think of it like erasing the whiteboard after class so it's clean for the next person. Finally, it tells the USB stick, Okay, you're all set to go. It was nice having a visit. Come back anytime. Only after your computer has done all of this cleanup work does it give you the message that says, Safe to remove hardware. That message is like your computer saying, Okay, now you can take your USB stick. I finished everything I needed to do with it, and it's ready to go home. Different computers might take different amounts of time to do this cleanup. Sometimes it happens so fast you barely notice. Other times, especially if you had lots of big files or if your computer was doing lots of things with your USB stick, it might take a few seconds. That's normal though. Your computer is just being extra careful to make sure that everything is perfect. You might wonder what happens if you don't use the safely remove button. Well, most of the time, you might get lucky and nothing bad happens. It's like running across the street without looking both ways. You might make it across just fine, but you're taking a big risk. Sometimes though, things do go wrong. You might lose some files, or files might get corrupted, which means they get all scrambled up and they don't work anymore. It's like if someone shook up a puzzle box while you were putting it together, and then all the pieces got mixed up. In the worst cases, you might even damage your USB stick so badly that it stops working completely. Imagine if you had a favorite toy and someone broke it by being too rough with it. That's what can happen to your USB stick. The invisible electronic parts inside might get confused or damaged, and then your USB stick becomes just a useless piece of plastic. Here's something interesting though. The safely remove feature isn't just about protecting your files, it's also about protecting your computer. When you suddenly remove a USB stick, your computer has to figure out what happened and clean up the mess. This can slow down your computer or even cause it to freeze up temporarily. It's like if someone suddenly left your house without saying goodbye and you spent the next hour looking around wondering where they went and whether they forgot anything. You should also know that different types of files are more at risk than others. If you were just looking at photos on your USB stick and didn't change anything, you're probably safe, even if you do forget to safely remove it. But if you were working on documents, copying files, or moving things around, the risk is much higher. It's like the difference between just looking at books in the library versus actively writing in them. The more you're changing things, the more important it is to follow the proper procedures. Modern computers and USB sticks, though, are actually pretty smart, and they do try to protect themselves from people who forget to use the safely remove button. Some newer systems are better at immediately writing changes to the USB stick instead of caching them. It's like how newer cars have safety features to protect drivers who make mistakes. But just because your car has airbags doesn't mean you should drive recklessly, right? The same is true for USB sticks. Just because they have some protection doesn't mean you should skip the safely remove step. Why take the risk? It only takes a few seconds to click that button and wait for the OK message. Those few seconds could save you hours of trying to recover lost files or the heartbreak of losing something important forever. Whether it's your homework, your photos, or important work documents. Losing them because you were in too much of a hurry to click one button would feel pretty silly. So, let's recap this whole digital etiquette lesson. Your computer might still be writing files to your USB stick even when you think it's done. It used caching to speed things up, which means changes sit in temporary memory before being copied to the stick. The safely remove button tells your computer to finish all the pending writes, empty the cache, clean up its notes, and prepare the USB stick for removal. Skipping this step risks corrupting files, losing data, or even breaking your USB stick. It only takes a few seconds to be polite to your electronic devices, and your files will thank you for it. Now go forth, then click that button like the responsible computer user you are.